Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table and today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take you from the kitchen and we're going to go into the dining room and we're going to set the table. Once the plate is on the table, the biggest questions are, which side does the fork, knife, and spoon go? Which bread plate is mine? There's more than one fork, which one do I use first? Where do I set the glasses? And where does the napkin go? With these little tips and tricks, you'll know exactly what goes where, and you'll never reach for your neighbor's bread again. Okay, so first things first, forks, knives, and spoons. Now the knife is the oldest utensil on the Western table. It even predates the plate. So this was used to kill what was gonna be for dinner and then stab it once it was on the plate and then bring it to your mouth. In medieval dining halls, it was used for self-protection as well as possibly to keep the food from being stolen from underneath your nose. Now, the majority of the world is right-handed, so the knife goes on the right-hand side of the plate, within easy reach of the dominant hand for eating and maybe self-protection. So, if you want to show your neighbor that you mean them no ill will and you have no hostile intentions, make sure that the sharp edge is facing towards you and away from your neighbor. So, if the knife edge is flipped, and pointing towards your neighbor, that could mean that you don't trust them and you might be planning to stab them in the neck. Bad idea, bad idea. So protect your neighbor, keep the peace, and keep the knife edge facing the plate. So how do you know which bread plate is yours? Do this with your hands. One is for a D and the other one makes a B. The B is for bread and that is where your bread plate is. The D. Yep, you got it. That's where your drink is. Water, red wine, white wine in the shape of a triangle. Now, let's look at the fork situation. You may find yourself facing several different forks. Which one do you reach for? No problem. Think outside in. Always start with the cutlery on the outside and work your way towards the plate. Finally, we get to the napkin. Now there's plenty of room for creativity here, but generally the rule is that it goes under the fork on the left-hand side. You can also put it on top of the plate or under the soup bowl or under the salad plate. There you have it. Keep the peace with your neighbor, B and D, and work from the outside in. You got it. Thanks for stopping by Lakeside Table. I hope these tips helped and that you find them easy to remember. If so, and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, share it with your friends. And until next week, have fun in your kitchen and around your table. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.